the first week is asking you to write six to eight lines, uh, all lines being exactly the same length, ten syllables long. Uh, none of the lines get to have any interruption inside the lines, that is grammatical pauses inside the lines. And what, I'm, what the purpose of this assignment is, is to get you to uh, understand what happens at the ends of lines. That is, what, how to group a series of lines together. So that Frost, for example, writes, um, when I see birches bend to left and right. Now note that that's different from, I see birches bend to left and right which is, I would say, a tonic function at the end of the line. When I see birches bend to left and right is, again, a complete grammatical phrase, but we know it's moving forward, just like a subdominant function or a four chord, that when you start with your tonic and then move to the four chord, you know that you're moving away from tonic toward something, and you don't know what your destination is, but you know you're moving. And so Frost keeps us in motion. When I see birches bend to left and right, across the lines of straight or darker trees, and you can still hear that subdominant function at the end of the line, I like to think some boy's been swinging them. Now there is a, a tonic function at the end, and he has created a three-line unit. A three-line unit feels unstable, feels unbalanced. And so that the number of lines there actually supports and creates a sense of, uh, just like a film score creates musically a commentary on the images that you see. Here we have the number of lines creating a film score that either goes or goes, uh, and so uh, what the, the whole point of it and the whole point of the, of the course is to use your structures to enhance and support the emotional intent that you have in your language. So that, if, uh, so that Frost's three lines there, when I see birches bend to left and right across the lines of straighter, darker trees, I like to think some boy's been swinging them. And even though there's a dead stop there, you kind of feel like, yeah, but it's not really so, is it? As opposed to, when I see birches bend to left and right, I like to think some boy's been swinging them. They say, oh, no, nice, uh, thanks for telling me. So that, uh, so that this whole compositional thing makes, a, m makes a, uh, a commentary, adds an extra level of meaning to what you have to say. So that's, you know, that's, that, that's something that we deal with the first week. There's reading on that. There's some examples of that. There's student examples of that, and I make commentary on all of that. So you read all of that stuff. And then, of course, go forth and do likewise.